Hey, on YouTube. I just wanted to show you guys my new uh, Unication G4. Uh, I'm actually working a way of getting getting rid of my scanners. Uh, they don't work too too good in my area anymore. So uh, I'm slowly doing away with those, uh, selling them. And uh, this is a Unication G4, 700, 800 megahertz P25 digital phase two uh, TDMA. Basically, like a fire pager. Um, you can find them online, and uh, these things are awesome. Um, I can't even really receive the control channel on a scanner in my area, but if you see the bars right up here, you can see they're full. I just fluctuated down a little bit, but yeah, and it stays like that most of the time throughout the whole county uh, while traveling. Um, I can go from here. Um, clear down to Paoli and I don't lose any reception at all um, I can go from my location which is here in Callan um, all the way up to Gap area and still be okay and uh, I mostly pull from the West Tower which is the 700 megahertz uh, unless I travel outside that area and then it automatically switches over to the 8 uh, these things don't use the threshold feature like a scanner would. Uh, these right here actually lock on to the control channel, which is a lot better. Uh, you don't have the P25 threshold and uh, error rate like you do on a scanner. Because once those digits change on a scanner, you lose reception. And uh, the way this works, this uh, it's not even like that. If I scroll down, I have it on PD scan. Has all my talk groups that I have programmed in it. Uh, system uh, West, it's uh, Chesco West. WACN number in decimal. Uh, RFSS ID is uh, decimal 30. The site ID is 30. Uh, it's on the West, 700 megahertz. And it's pulling directly from that control channel right there. Uh, just like your scanner would but there's no no conflictions there at all whatsoever and i have different talk groups programmed in it and i have pd scan which is like all the police stuff uh, central pd dispatch east pd dispatch the west pd dispatch which is actually to start talking no, and uh, it comes in crystal clear. I can have a scanner sitting right next to this thing and you wouldn't hear anything on it. Uh, the control channel just fluctuates up and down on a scanner. Like this thing here, just it pulls it right in and just sits there on it. And uh, every time they key up, it, it talks. And I'm, I'm really surprised. And I'm probably going to get a couple more of these. East fire, west fire. And my channel one is just FD. They're all the uh, local FD channels. And you can see right there, it's pulling from the West Tower, which is 3030. Uh, the East and Central Tower would be 1010. Uh, just the way you got to program, program these things are real finicky. Uh, once you mess something up, it's, it's real hard to fix. Yeah, 428 pass complaints for. Disabled vehicle blocking. 14.2 southbound on 202. It's a maroon Hyundai Santa Fe with four ways on. I hate it when the officers talk low. You got your scanner or whatever turned all the way up and they're still low, but dispatch is loud as hell. Pain in the ass. But yeah, this thing right here is awesome. I mean, it's lightweight it's rugged it's real durable right now it's charging because i had it out all day when i was at work but uh yeah this thing this thing is awesome um i might get a couple more of these i'm doing away with the scanners i'm done with them because they don't work in my area it gets bluetooth corner 216 at brandy vine hospital corner yeah, you can hook up a Bluetooth earphone to it.
but yeah, I love this little thing. Uh, it works every time. Um, no problems with it at all. Um, I've never missed a transmission from police or fire on it since I've had it. I um, actually had it for, I guess, a little over a week now. That's the, uh, this is the band. That's the band that it's in, 763 to 870 megahertz. I've never actually had a better scanner, if that's what you want to call it. But this little, this little guy is awesome. I recommend him to everybody. And uh, you can get the uh, G4. That's only 700, 800, 700, 800 megahertz. The G5. Um, you can get... Did you see them, Derek? Yeah, the G5, you can get, um... Uh, here, but I didn't see any of this. You can get it in VHF. I think it's like 136 to 174 megahertz. And you can get UHF, which is the 400 to the, I guess, the 500 megahertz. It's like 4-something to 512 megahertz. And they're also 700, 800 megahertz uh, for your actual uh, P25 talk groups. Uh, this unit right here is 700, 800 megahertz, P25 phase one or two digital TDMA. So it actually receives Chester County just perfect, um, better than an actual scanner. Um, I took notice when I had my scanner in a vehicle, um, I had a uh, BCD 996P2 scanner, uh, mobile unit. Uh, actually had, actually had an outside antenna, which was NMO. It was one of the better antennas, and it was outside hooked up to it. It was receiving fine in Parksburg, uh, at my other house. And then uh, I would take a ride with it in the vehicle on the scanning. And uh, it would be fine going through Parksburg, uh, hit Route 10, start going up uh, towards Walmart. Uh, as soon as you get around Walmart, you'll lose the control channel right there. And uh, at the Wawa, you lose the control channel right by Walmart. Uh, down by Harlan Motors, you don't get nothing. You take the bypass from there, from 30. You hit the bypass from there up in the west, uh, head towards Exton, and you don't get the control channel at all, hardly on the bypass. Uh, it fades in and out, but uh, you'll see something come across the display, but it won't talk. With this unit right here, you hear everything. Uh, I haven't I haven't lost a transmission yet out driving around. Um, I go from Coatesville, Parksburg. Uh, we went all the way down to uh, Northeast Maryland, and I got it all the way up until we crossed the Maryland line, and then that's when I lost it. And it was uh, we it was kind of like weaving in and out then, and I guess that's just because of how small the antenna is on top right here. It's only a little rubber ducky antenna. It actually comes off. You can unscrew it. Yeah, I'll lose everything now. <laughs> and it's like a little, uh... It's still receiving. Barely, though. You see the top of it there. I'm not quite sure what kind of antenna this takes, but yeah, this is it right here. That's the female. The top of the radio is the male. Okay, now the RFSI, RFSS and slash site. If I was to put that on 1010 right now, um, I would get signal where I'm at here in uh, Callum Township, but then it would kind of fade in and out just because I'm kind of on that border uh, for the 800 megahertz frequencies for the talk groups. Uh, in my area, I received the 700 megahertz talk groups better, or I'm sorry, control channels. Uh, the signal strength is actually like 120%. And I'd say the east and the west, 800 megahertz frequencies, they're probably, I don't know, 40%, 50% receive. 
But uh, yeah, I love this thing. Uh, I'm thinking about getting probably two more. I want to. I want to put one on my uh, my Fire and EMS Fire Feed. I do want to do that, but uh, the only way you can do that is through Bluetooth with this unit. But I did see it has a desktop charger. It's an amplified charger, and uh, to the looks of it, it has a microphone jack on the back of it. So that actually, actually, no, I'm sorry, a speaker like a 3.5 millimeter um, earphone jack. There, that's what I want to say, earphone jack. That would actually probably uh, make my feed a little bit better, especially with this unit. Uh, when I had my 996P2 scanner online, I had to keep messing with the uh, with the Yagi antenna that's outside just so I can keep getting signal like every other day. Uh, I guess when they switch control channels, the signal would get real finicky on me. And uh, it would make the error rate jump around and the threshold numbers. And it would sit on 11 and 12 and 13 most of the time. And then people was asking me, like, what's going on with your feet? I'm not hearing nothing. Well, that's because of that, that problem right there. So I'd go out there and I would uh, unloosen the antenna mount that I have out there on the, uh, on the side of the house. And I would turn the antenna a little bit until I regained signal. And then it was good for a couple of days, and then it would go back out again. I got tired of doing that. Uh, somebody told me, why don't, why don't you just get a Unication G4, G5 for like 600 bucks? That's how much I paid for this thing. And you wouldn't have that problem with the uh, with them threshold numbers. So that's what I did, and here I am now. And this thing here works perfect. Uh, every time dispatch keys up, you hear it. Every time a unit keys up, you hear it. Uh, I've never heard any garble come across it yet, except when it's had the antenna off, of course. Other than that, man, this thing here is it's A1. It is perfect. And I wouldn't be getting a couple more if I didn't like it, so obviously I like it. Uh, programming it is a little... It's just like programming a Motorola uh, professional handheld radio uh, for the software for it, uh, just because of the way you got to program it. Uh, you got to put your tower, your RFS numbers in. I mean, your RFSS numbers and your site IDs. Uh, it's just like programming a professional county radio. And uh, if you don't have your number set right, like uh, they just switched for the West uh, to 1E. The site ID is 1E and the, uh, the RFS ID, that's 1E also. But it's on channel A. <laughs> it's kind of weird how they do it. And if you get them switched around, you won't get no antenna bars. Yeah, once you program it and you program it like that, this up here, you won't have. Yeah, it's just kind of weird, you know, how, how it all is. Whoops. I'm messing it all up on us here. Yeah, it's just kind of weird of how it's, how it's set up. But, all right, YouTubers, you guys have a nice day. Hope you guys get one soon.